What's up, everyone? Movie Mania Nick here. Uh, I just went to go see the movie Alita Battle Angel. It starred Rosa Salazar as Alita, Christoph Waltz, Jennifer Connelly, Mahershala Ali, and Kean Johnson. And the director was Robert Rodriguez. So this movie is basically about a deactivated female cyborg is revived but cannot remember anything of her past life and goes on a quest to find out who she is. All right, guys, so I went to go see this movie. And tell you the truth, it's a good movie. Um, I enjoyed this movie. Between the CGI, the action, the special effects, the fight scenes, it was great. If you like those type of things, I highly recommend to go see this movie. You know, there was a lot of fight scenes and action stuff, but... I mean, it, it, they put this, the storyline was good too. They actually made it kind of a love story uh, between Alita and H Hugo, which I guess in the comics, because this is based off the comics, um, I guess it was in the comics, maybe. If anybody has read it, uh, the comics, let me know in the description below. I think uh, most of the people did a great job, uh, especially Rosa Salazar. I played Alita. I mean, that was basically her, kind of her face, and the movements was her because, you know, but they put her in CGI form. Uh, Christoph Waltz, he did an outstanding job. I've always liked him as an actor. I think he's a great actor. But, like, Mahershala Ali and Jennifer Connelly, they play good villains in a way, but it's like they're just, they're, there's nothing there. It's just like they're there, you know, and then that's it. Eh, it was, for their parts, it was, eh. But the rest of them, I think they did a great job. But I like how the storyline is basically, you know, you, you know, Dr. Ido, Ido, wherever his name is, played by Christoph Waltz, how he found her, put her together, and just trying to find out who she is or was. You know, that that was a good storyline, and when she found out, it just, it just blows your mind, and, you know, what they did with this film. There was a few times where it was like high action packed and fast paced, but then there were times it just was kind of, there was just a drop off and then it went to fast high pace again and then went to drop off like a slow kind of pace. But overall, I think the chemistry and I think the, the story, I think it was good. And uh, hopefully they make a, um, a sequel, which I, they might. Yeah, but I like, like I said, um, I highly recommend to go see this film. It was a great film. And now it's time for fun facts. Uh, Alita is done with CG animation and was shot in 3D using the stereo imaging system. The movie has a budget between $175 million and $200 million. This is the biggest budget Robert Rodriguez has ever had. James Cameron confirmed that this is a combination of the first four books in Yukito... Kishiro's series of manga books. Alita translates to Little Wing in Spanish. This film, this film includes roughly 1,500 visual effects shots. That's a lot of shots. And finally, finally, Alita is based on the nine-volume Japanese manga Gundam anime comic book that ran from 1990 to 1995, 2000 2014 and 2014 and ongoing as of 2019 all right guys so that's it that's my movie review for alita battle angel i hope you enjoyed this as always smash that like button uh please support if you want to i mean i would really appreciate it share and also hit that notification bell and it'll tell you when my next video is up and also check check me out on instagram under movie mania nick where i post some videos but a lot of pictures through my journeys and travels so as always guys be excellent to each other and party on dudes